Hello, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going over 16 purchases that have improved my life, so let's just get into it. Item number one is this pretty cheap alarm clock. I wanted to kind of move away from using my phone as an alarm clock because I always got tempted to scroll during the night and I was always tempted to flick through it as soon as I woke up. It's a pretty standard alarm clock and it does the job that I need it to do. Item number two is this PNY power bank. It has two USB-A slots, which allows me to charge two devices at any time. And it's an absolute lifesaver when I'm out and about and I need to either charge my phone or my earphones. This one in particular also has a little torch at the top if it comes on, there you go. Also has a little torch at the top. So if you're looking around in your bag for a cable or for something that you need, you can just turn this torch on and find it really easily. There have been lots of times when I've been caught short with my phone battery. So having a power bank like this is definitely a lifesaver when I'm out and about. Next on the list, is this speaker from Wonderboom. I think this is actually the Wonderboom 2 and it's honestly one of the best Bluetooth speakers that I've used over the last couple of years. I mainly use this when I'm editing videos in the other room or whenever I'm listening to music either inside or outside. The speaker has really good sound output and can be connected to the other Wonderboom speakers which gives you kind of a surround sound system which is a really nice little feature especially if you're out and about and want a bigger sound coming from your own speakers. The fourth item on the list is this camera here. This is the Canon PowerShot G7X Mark II and I think this is probably one of the more expensive items on this list. I bought this camera a while ago because I was interested in starting a YouTube channel and thought that this camera would be the best way to go about doing that. Since getting it, I use it to take normal pictures when I'm out and about or away on holiday as it's really small and compact. And I also use it to take B-roll for my videos, which you've probably seen before if you've watched any of my other videos. One of the best things about it is this flip up screen. So if you're holding it like this, vlogging or whatever, you can see yourself in this screen, which is a really... Uh, good feature, hopefully we'll get it up there, there you go. There's the camera I'm using to film this on. So as you can see, the screen allows you to see what you're filming. And it's just overall a really good camera to use when you're trying to start a YouTube channel or if you're out and about taking pictures. I think everybody should have a decent camera just to have for daily use. And this is one that I would definitely recommend going out and getting if you don't mind spending a little bit more on a camera. So next on the list is this journal here. So this is a moleskin journal with dotted paper. That's the inside of it there, hopefully you can see, with dotted paper. I kind of use this journal as a sort of bullet journal combined with a habit tracker. So if I go to the very start of it, you can see that I have my habit tracker and I have a journal or like a gratitude journal log thing. And then as I flick on, I have like the days of the week. And then at the end, I have a sleep tracker. I have like a quote that I have, books read, highlights. So this is basically what I use to journal in. I like the idea of just being able to open up a journal like this and just being able to sit and write for a few minutes every single day. I think everything is so digitized now that you rarely get a chance to actually do something handwritten. So I really like just sitting for a couple of minutes with this journal writing whatever I need to into it. Obviously this notebook is quite expensive because it is moleskin, but Go out and get a random notebook from your closest shop and just start journaling. You'll see a massive difference in everything in your life. The sixth item on this list is this backpack here, which is a backpack from Thule. So this is the Thule Subterra and I've had it for a few weeks now. I was looking around for a new backpack and couldn't really pick between them all until I found the Thule Subterra. And I literally love everything about it. It has lots of space inside. It has different pockets for different things. So it's really useful if you're traveling about to work or if you're traveling away on holiday. I recently took this to Israel and it did everything that I needed it to do. It was great to just carry about on day trips and it was also good to put under the seat on the plane there and back. I don't want to say too much about it because I want to do a deep dive into this bag in a video coming up on the channel very soon. Next on this list is this pair of headphones here which are the Beats Studio 3. So I love wearing headphones whenever I'm out editing videos or whenever I'm just listening to music in my room. These ones give a really good sound quality and they're also pretty solid so you never feel like they're gonna break whenever you're wearing them. And they're also pretty comfortable. They are noise cancelling which means I can wear them in loud and busy environments without having to worry about noise getting in and distracting me from whatever I'm actually trying to do. They also come with a cable here, which has a microphone attached, which means that if I'm working, I can take calls and I can call other people and can hear them and they can hear me perfectly because the microphone is really good with these headphones. This can usually be a bit of a drawback from other wireless headphones, but I find the Beats Studio 3 are just a really well-designed, really comfortable and really good pair of headphones to have. Obviously they are quite expensive again, so there are other alternatives out there. The eighth item on this list is this small Kodak printer. So this is a Bluetooth printer, which means I can send photos from my phone or my iPad to this printer, which will then print them out in full color 
on special photograph paper. This is really useful if you want to take a picture on your phone but you want to have it printed out. Just connect it up to this and print it. I use this to put pictures into my bullet journal which I have shown you a little bit earlier on. Next on the list is this Chili's bottle here. So this bottle can keep drinks cold for around 24 hours or drinks hot for around 12 hours. I got this as a present a little while ago and I literally use it every single day. I'll usually fill it up when I get up in the morning and that will do me for a little bit. This bottle size is really good to take to work, take to uni, whatever it may be. This is the perfect size for a bottle. I also took it to Israel with me to have on day trips out and it was an absolute lifesaver because it was roasting hot out there. I know there are people out there who like to use bigger bottles but I find that having a bottle this size which which isn't too big, means that you have to get up from your desk, take a break and go and fill up your water bottle. The next item on this list is my Amazon Kindle. This is always in my bag wherever I go. There are always moments during the day where you can read a page or a chapter of a book while you're waiting for a bus, while you're sitting on the bus or while you're on your lunch break. I find having a Kindle in my bag allows me to save a lot of time and allows me to quickly get stuck into reading whenever I have a spare moment during the day. I have to say I do prefer reading normal books like paper books but having a Kindle is also a great alternative. The next item on this list is this ukulele which is a little bit of a random one. I bought this a while ago with the intention of learning to play it and I'm still in the process of learning it at the minute. I've always kind of wanted to learn an instrument so I thought the ukulele would be a good one to try to play because it's nice and small and it also is pretty easy to kind of pick up and learn. The next item on the list is the Manfrotto tripod which I'm actually using to record this video right now. So this is a tripod that I've been using for ages now and it's one that I still use for all of my videos today. I find that it's just the right height and it's really handy and convenient to take out and about whenever I want to film anything outside. It's also really solid so whenever you're recording a video you don't have to worry about it breaking or bending in the wrong direction. Next I have this Lassie hard drive which is one of the most important things that I have bought. I use this hard drive for things like old documents that I have from school and uni and I also use it to keep hold of all the footage that goes into making my videos on this channel. Everyone knows that it's really important to back up your documents whenever you're working on a computer in case something happens and you lose them all and that is primarily what I use this hard drive for. It's a complete lifesaver and it means that I'm never without all the documents and the files that I need to do a bit of work whenever I'm out and about. The 14th item on the list is this Apple Pencil. So I think this is the second generation of Apple Pencil. I find that when I'm using an Apple Pencil it's just a really nice experience. You can really feel the quality that has gone into building this pencil and I love the fact that it sticks to the top of my iPad so that I never have to rummage through my bag looking for it. It's always just connected to the top of my iPad charging. I know it's a bit expensive but there are other alternatives out there if you want to go and buy a similar pencil for your own iPad. I think this was actually a birthday present or a Christmas present so that's kind of why I got it. The penultimate item is this GoPro which is the GoPro Hero 9 and it is the black version. This is one of those things that I impulsively bought and I'm really glad that I did. I've taken it out paddle boarding around the local area where I live and the footage it captures is actually amazing. The colours are really deep and it just gives you another angle on what you're doing if you're out and about exploring or if you're out and about on a paddleboard on the water. I love the versatility that the GoPro has and it's you know GoPro is known for being robust so being able to take this anywhere and not having to worry about dropping it or breaking it is just one thing that I don't have to think about. Regardless of where I'm going or what I'm doing I know the GoPro is going to be able to do whatever I need it to do. Finally I have my laptop. I don't really know what I'd do without my laptop which is the 2017 version of the MacBook Pro. At this point I've had it around six years but it's still going strong and still does everything that I need it to do. I use it to edit, write essays for university, write my blog posts which you can check out on my website, watch videos, answer emails and much more. No matter where I am I can get my laptop out and get a bit of work done which is especially beneficial when I'm out and about and I don't have access to my bigger desktop computer. So those were 16 items that have dramatically improved my life. If you want more things that have improved my life here is a video that is going to introduce you to a number of books that have had a significant impact on my life and have the potential to completely change your life as well.